A hot topic in the personal development community is whether you should or should not be taking supplements and whether or not you can get everything you need from food alone. In this video, I'll be sharing with you some of my favorite supplements that I take every day, as well as ways that you can know if these supplements are safe and effective. Welcome to HRV Hackers, the channel that's dedicated to improving your health and increasing your heart rate variability. If you haven't subscribed yet, go ahead and click the subscribe button and click the bell so that you get notified of new updates. And much love to my existing subscribers as well. Now, while I'm definitely a big believer in eating healthy, nutritious, organic when possible food, I also believe that supplementation is necessary because study after study is showing that the nutritional value of our food is continuing to diminish year after year because of our crappy farming methods. So before we get to some of the more unique and interesting supplements that you may not have heard of before, let's start with the basics. What are these like pillar kind of supplements that you need to definitely make sure you're taking? So the first on this list is definitely magnesium. Magnesium is responsible for energy production, repairing your DNA, and giving you a friggin' awesome sleep, and as a bonus, increasing your heart rate variability. Now, last I checked, there was about 15 different kinds of magnesium to try. And honestly, the formula is this. If it ends with an IDE, like an oxide, most likely, it's not that great. And from my research, what it usually comes down to is either magnesium bisglycinate and magnesium torate. And since magnesium torate is best known for its blood pressure lowering abilities, as well as kind of calming the nervous system, while glycinate is more for better sleep, I've decided to put all my money into better sleep. Vitamin D. If you're not getting vitamin D from the sun, then you're definitely going to want to supplement it because a deficiency in vitamin D has been shown to be pro-aging, pro-inflammation, anti-immunity, and pro-depression. Now, the key thing is if you are taking a vitamin D supplement, you also want to take vitamin K2 or else you risk having too much calcium in your blood from this kind of supplementation. Another goodie to add to your supplement list is definitely vitamin C. Vitamin C has been shown to improve mood, be antioxidant and anti-inflammatory, support bone health as well as skin health. Hello. And finally, from the list of basic supplements that we should consider taking, I would have to add zinc to this list because of its anti-inflammatory, immune boosting, reduction of age-related diseases, as well as its benefits towards sleep. One extra note, if you are taking a zinc supplement, is you also want to take a small amount of copper because zinc supplementation has been shown to reduce your copper levels, especially if taken in high doses. Okay, so with the basics out of the way, I want to talk about the more interesting supplements that you should consider taking. The first being collagen. For me, collagen has done more to reduce any sort of joint pain that I've had compared to anything else that I've tried. It's also great for your arteries, as well as your hair, nails, and skin. Now, different options that you can try in terms of the sourcing of this collagen are grass-fed beef collagen, collagen from fish, collagen from chicken, which is what I take personally, Berberine supplementation is becoming a very hot topic right now because more and more people are getting continuous glucose monitors attached to their arm and seeing what kind of inflammatory blood sugar spikes they're getting from different meals that they're having. So berberine is actually able to blunt that blood sugar spike during meals if taken approximately 30 minutes before a meal. So it is being considered an absolute awesome, miraculous kind of supplement. Fish oil or krill oil. Now the benefits of the supplement are so long that it would take me like 10 minutes to go through them one by one. So without going too far down this rabbit hole, here are some basic rules of thumb. If in the back of your fish oil or krill oil container, it has higher EPA, then that's the one you would want if you are trying to improve levels of inflammation and mood, depression, those kind of things. On the other hand, if you're more focused on brain health and eye health, then you're going to want the type of fish oil that has a higher amount of DHA, 
and the back of that label. So with this supplement, we should be extra careful in terms of the kind of heavy metals and other toxins that some of these supplements have. So it's very important to find a reputable brand that removes these toxins. One example is Nordic Naturals. Oh, and one last thing for my vegan and vegetarian friends. There is some research showing that alga, al algae, the, the green stuff that flows in the pond, that kind of oil will have similar effects to the fish or krill oil. Calcium deglucurate is an excellent detoxifier that helps your body get rid of excess sex hormones such as excess estrogen. Now, even as men or as women, we do need some estrogen, but the problem becomes when there is excess estrogen. And I've definitely seen my personal estrogen levels go down on blood work ever since I started taking that supplement. Now, speaking of optimizing sex hormones, one great supplement is called Tomcat Alley or Longjack. Some of the benefits of Tomcat Alley include cortisol reduction, leaner, denser body composition, improved libido, and an increase in testosterone. And yes, both men and women need certain levels of testosterone. By the way, what do you think of this list so far? Did I miss anything critical? Let me know in the comments. So now that you have this list and you're probably thinking, where do I go? How do I pick one of these supplements? Basically, what I like to do is I go to labdoor.com and see if any of the supplements I'm looking for, like let's say magnesium, are listed on there and they'll break it down to you by safety, how well the supplement's actually absorbed. So all the necessary information you need about supplements are going to be there at labdoor.com. Now, if you don't find your supplements at Labdoor, don't worry. There are just a couple of really good brands that I like to go to, and they have been shown to be safe and effective in many cases. All right, guys, hope you got some value out of this content. If you did, give it a thumbs up, and I will see you in the next one.